And this episode of Redarkless.com brought to you by Worthless, written by Aaron Clary. I read it, you need to read it, link below, do it. It's good pop here, and I got bad news for Mr. Johnny Depp. <laughs> and the reason it took so long is the numbers finally came out. <laughs> and they're devastating. I'm gonna start this off with a question. And that is simply this, is what the f were you thinking? Edit that out. I understand completely where you're coming from. You're 52 and this 30 year old hot piece of strange is throwing herself at you and you're like, ah, oh, it's great. It's too good to be true because it is. Unless you're in Thailand. Spit in my mouth. I spelled her name with two P's because you got one in the front, you broke one off and you ran it up your own slot B. And with that being said, Mr. Depp bend over, relax, we'll put on some latex gloves. And we're gonna pull that second P right out of your fourth point of contact. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what you're thinking. What you do, send you a pic of her vagina, her meat curtains, and you responded, I could really go for some Arby's too. <laughs> Let's roll this whole fiasco back to its beginnings. 2011 at the Rum Diary set, and that's where they met. When this whole thing started, she was 25 and at the peak of her sexual hotness. Next thing you know, Dial's going to Pegs and uh, they're married. And they were married 15 months, and guess what? Train wreck, slow motion, half your shit on the table. And don't you dare say it. Oh, she loved him. She was setting this up from the beginning. Everyone out there in male TV land knows that that woman was making a living doing a lot of this and full naked and we know the walls coming and so did she and she was serving up debt for the big payday. <laughs> when you make a living with your tits, chances are someday you're gonna have to call it quits. <laughs> Typical progressive feminist attitude. Yeah, I don't need a man, it's all good. They're going through the whole deal and they realize the wall's coming. They eject for the golden parachute and Johnny Depp Sorry to say this, dude. We all love you. You played the white knight fool in this one, you dumb bastard. Well, a man does that. Normally, all of this would be just bad enough, okay? I've lived through some of it myself. But this is the OG of cunt moves. Filing for divorce right after the dude's mother dies. Holy shit, in the Antarctic frigid hearts of hearts, that is the most vicious shit I've ever heard. I know, honey, this is the worst time of your life, but this really is best for both of us. And uh, I want to have your shit. That's why chicks get shot right there. Not sure I deserve that. This brings back some bad memories, I'm just saying. So not only does she file for divorce the day after his mother passes away, but he can't go home because guess what? Standard issue restraining order on his ass. This restraining order was fueled by... I was a victim of abuse for years! Which if you checked out when women attack... 27 stab wounds, a gunshot to the face, his throat slit ear to ear, but it was self-defense. Her lawyer is making the case for domestic violence. Trust me, that wheezing bag of dick tips has it coming. If you've ever taken martial arts and you've done a kata when you're testing for your belts, is exactly what feminists do when they file for divorce. Every move is planned out where one move flows into the next until they get to the end and they pay me. Oh, that's right, wait a minute, I got a 24 right here. Right there into the Punisher ring, bitches. All right, she claimed drug and alcohol abuse. Spoiler alert, bitch. What do you think's gonna happen when you marry a dude who was a star since he was a little kid? If it's even true, and we're about to get to that point right now, there is a point where you can overplay that victim card, and boy, did she do it in spades. She wasn't just claiming physical abuse, she was claiming emotional and mental abuse also. And we have a word for those kind of abuses here in Redonculus. And we call him invisible abuse. <laughs> and Depp responds like any logical man would when he's faced with this crazy ass bullshit. It's all for financial gain. I hear some other obvious bullshit. The sky's blue, water is wet, and heat is hot. If you want to overplay the victim card and manufacture a bunch of bullshit, simple fact is this. There might be some exes laying around that'll call you out on it. They all showed up, threw down the 15 yard penalty flag and said bullshit. He's a good dude. He might drink a little bit, be moody, but he never hit me. By the time you're 50-ish, if you haven't been an abuser, you're not gonna be one. 50-year-old dudes don't magically snap and start beating the shit out of 30-year porn stars. I mean, movie stars. Looks like an all-you-can-f***. 
buffet. The LA police showed up that evening and left because there was no evidence whatsoever. I'm trying to wrap my brain pan around this stupidity right here, but the police show up, she doesn't file a report, she doesn't say boo, because if she did, they would have cuffed him and stuffed him on the spot. Amber, I understand you're the epitome of the dumb blonde, but in reality, you're dumber than a box of blonde hair. I flushed some more intelligent shit down the toilet after a night of Del Taco and whiskey. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's a big shocker. On top of all this horse shit, she was C King because I can't spell. Spells to support for 15 months worth of marriage. <laughs> Fool. Here's another shocker. <laughs> and you're probably well acquainted with this, huh? Smells like shit. And why did she think that she could get spousal support after 15 months? Because Mr. Depp was stupid and he didn't have her sign a prenup. Ah! Ah! Mr. Depp, maybe you need to check out put up prenup, but what the hell were you thinking at 52 writing a full check against this 30 year old piece of strange with no prenup? And thank God she didn't drop a kid while they were married or he'd be on the hook until he was 70. So when she overplayed the victim card and the exes came forward and called her out for her bullshit, a comedian came forward and accused her of blackmail. She's suing him because guess what? He was incorrect. It wasn't blackmail. It was extortion. It's only blackmail if you actually have done something wrong. And as we all know, and the facts dictate this, it's all bullshit. If you're one of these slags who comes forward trying to get money out of a rich dude based on physical, emotional, mental abuse, you better have your game wired tight because it's coming under scrutiny. Now listen, when this becomes the default course of action in every divorce, you have to expect skepticism, just say. And we all know this is a bunch of horse shit because she didn't press charges, the cops didn't have any evidence, and there were pictures of her on the internet of the night of the incident without so much as a lint ball in her hair. I'm sorry, baby, when it's this easy to prove you wrong, <laughs> you's wrong. This whole thing stinks of Swiss cheese, and guess what? It's got just as many holes in it. And I'm sure you know all about filling holes, winning. <laughs> but of course, we can't move on to the money portion until we address the media, those goddamn ingrates. Here's the shocker. She threw it on the victim card, and the media convicted him before all the facts came out. And when the media beat down Mr. Depp and broke off a pee and rammed it up his ass, they went, oh, she was arrested for a prior domestic violence while in a lesbian relationship. Oops, the abusee is actually the abuser and it's on record. I know I pointed down here when I said record, but hey baby, you need to just suck it. TMZ makes their money slandering people and skewing stories. And when they themselves are saying this is bullshit, that is bad. Your cause is lost. I'm just gonna say this, but when the shit spewers turn off the fan, <laughs> that's a bad sign. And uh, this is the best part of Pimp Tart Wife's Institute. The money. Make it rain, baby. <laughs> Make it rain. 15 months of marriage with a $7 million settlement. Uh, <laughs> there are hookers in Thailand with their craft honed to a T that could never even hope for that kind of cash. You tamed my monster. Okay, just shut up, okay? With your mouth. Stop! And two other places. Okay. In an order that would surprise you. Enough! Depp was 52, she was 30. It's a 22 year age gap, which is too good to be true because it was. We got his movie schedule, her movie schedule, or failing schedule. You know, her entertaining, his entertaining, her being a bitch, him being moody. That's gonna affect the hits on pussy. But with all those variables, he probably didn't hit that pussy more than 60 times. So I'm gonna lock it in at 60 just to give him the benefit of the doubt. Seven million divided by 15 comes out to 466. 66666, and that's a whole lot of sixes. Mark of the bitch, I mean beast. So if you take that seven million and divide it by 60, which is hits on pussy, you come out to 116, 66666. And with that, we have a new silver medal winner in the Weiss Institute category. Winning, no. The champion is still that circle walking bitch, Heather Mills, but in 15 months, baby, you came so close. And Mr. Depp, I hope that pussy was worth it, but I'll say it again. That f***ing you got probably wasn't worth the f***ing you got, just saying. And that normally would be the end of it, but guess what? I am so beyond asshole, I'm gonna break it down using challenge accepted numbers. Check out the episode, and this is gonna get sloppy up in here. Mr. Depp, 52. I'm gonna use the average of 30 strokes a minute times 14 minutes, which is the average sexual encounter. That comes out to 420 strokes per episode. 
All right, if you take that number per hit on pussy and you divide it by 420, <laughs> you get $277 per stroke. You paid $7 million for 840 minutes of sex. It's $8,333 per minute. There's a lot of phone sex operators out there that would love to charge that. This episode brought to you by 1-800-WET-JUGS. <laughs> Spit in my mouth. And guess what? For eight grand, you can get the girlfriend option at the Bunny Ranch. Not that I know anything about that. I'm just saying. You are a sad, strange little man. And you have my pity. Farewell. All right, but wait a minute. It gets better. After she overplayed the victim card and it blew up in her face and the media turned on her at the end, she gave all that money to charity. What an idiot. And we all know why you did it, because in my opinion, I think you're a liar, cheater, and abuser. But hey, that's just me and my opinion. You're a basic bitch. If the truth hurts and you're pissed at me, you can look me up and slap me around a little bit. Just tell me the safe word first. That's all I ask. Actually, the one that would work best for you would be slewer. That'd be slutty hooer. Mr. Depp, I know what you were thinking. In fact, we all were because we've seen her nude scenes. Got it. But please, don't do this again. You're 52. You should know what to do. You better treat your money like a Jew or you're gonna get the screw. <laughs> but us here at Redonculus, we don't have that luxury. So please, check out the links below, our Patreon and PayPal links, and shoot us some dough so we can keep doing this because it's expensive. And while we're at it, please hit the subscribe button. Because ladies, if you do, I'll only charge you 10 bucks a minute. <laughs> That's such a dick. That's f***ed up. <laughs> no, really, no. Like, when I had a roommate, he would call me at work and be like, Dude, were you, uh, were you shopping on eBay the other day? I'd be like, yeah, why, what's up? You got a battle axe in the mail. What? Does it look cool? Yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> I'm serious, I have like a wall of swords, I have axes, I have all this crazy ass shit and I don't even remember buying it. Look man, we just live in a f***ed up world and we speak the truth. You're, just, you're always putting your pee where it's not supposed to be. <laughs> Dude, I mean the thing is, is like when you're dyslexic, there's sh I just can't see the details. It's like blah, blah, blah. whatever. I, I, can't read, I can't even read cursive, I can't write cursive, I can't read it. Doctors write like dyslexics read. I will go with that. <laughs>